tried out the Chanel hand cream so many times that I finally was convinced to purchase the full size. This is the Nourish, Protect, and Brighten. So I'm also trying to find a good SPF for my hands, so let me know if you know of one, but I really liked that it brightens. I love the shape of this and I think it fits really nicely into a handbag. Well, at least I think it does. I will let you know, but I think it's such a cute bottle anyway. I'm looking forward to using this more regularly and I will give you an update when I get, of course, to my favorites. If it's a favorite, I'll let you know. I just wanted to show you too what this looks like once you open it because I wasn't sure myself, but it has a little very controlled dispenser on the end. I don't know if you can see it there where the product comes out. You can see really how rich and emollient the texture is. It holds its own shape and that's one of the things I loved about this when I tried it out. And it absorbs really well and has a beautiful scent. And I believe this one is from Nordstrom, at least I think it is. Let's take a look. No, this is from Saks. What did I order from Saks? I ordered a couple of things when they had their promo. This is something I've been looking at. It's the Shiseido Eye Shading Brush. And you know how much I love the one I use for foundation by Shiseido. And that's why I wanted to try another brush and I thought this one looked a little bit unique so we will be giving this a try. And right off the bat, I don't know if you can tell from there, but it looks a bit tapered. So I think you can see there. So the bristles on the exterior are shorter than the ones on the interior. And I love my Rowan brush, which has that same kind of shape, not this exact shape, but it has those tapered bristles on the exterior. And I really love that for application. It makes things much smoother. So we'll see how this works for the eyes. And then we have here the Clay de Peau Radiant Cream Foundation. And I picked mine up in 030, so hoping this is the right shade. And I don't know why I thought this would be, I don't know, a larger bottle, but it seems quite petite. But for me, that's okay because I typically don't go through something unless I use it every single day. And this has SPF 25. A couple more things that trickled in from the Sephora sale. We have the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint, and I finally figured out my shade. This is SPF 40, and I have mine in the shade Paloma ST9. And the applicator is a dropper. It is quite lightweight, which is really nice. It definitely doesn't look like the right shade here, but I'll show you a swatch. There's how it looks on initial swatch, but let's wait a moment and I'll show you what it looks like when it dries down. This is a shade Paloma after it's kind of settled in and you can see it really meshes nicely with the skin. And it actually says here, the formula will appear lighter before adjusting to its true color after 30 to 60 seconds. And you can see how much that adjusted. So if you do go in store and swatch this, just know that your initial swatch won't look the same as after about a minute. We've got this Say product called Slip Tint. This is SPF 35. It's a tinted moisturizer. This is in the shade three and a half. What I liked about this is that it had a brightening ingredient as well. So anything that has brightening and SPF is like a magical combination for me. And I wanted to show you that this has a pump on the end as well. So it's a tube and a pump, which I really like. So you can see here the Say product. I tried to let it settle in for a moment just to see if that glow would go away. So it's definitely more glowy than the Ilia. So that might be a good comparison for you. I think when I wear this, I think I'll work it in a little bit more, but I wanted you to be able to at least see the color. And what's great about both of these is that they really mesh nicely with my skin tone. So I have high hopes for these, but just looking at these two, my skin is combo. So this Ilia might be better than the Say product, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes and maybe drier skin types might like this one better. This company is new to me. I've not tried anything from their line, but I've seen their images on Instagram and they look gorgeous. And these are from the company 
fluoresis. So thank you so much for sending everything over. I'm really anxious to see everything in person. Like I said, I've just seen images and they look really, really beautiful. Oh, wow. Beautiful colors. And there's something else in the box. There is something in there down at the bottom. This looks like a little charm that you attach. Oh, okay, so it just attaches to the end. Fiddled around a little bit with this. I think you just apply pressure on the end there. And, and there's this gorgeous lipstick in there and it has the loveliest design on the lipstick itself. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this on a lipstick. It's almost too beautiful to use. And that shade is right up my alley. And there you can see the top of the lipstick. This is the next item. Oh, wow. Um, how do I open this? This is a lip product, another lip product. I'm not sure if it's a lip gloss or a like a liquid lip, but we shall see. And this shade too looks like it has a lovely warmth to it. For reference, the first lipstick was M1314. And this one that I just opened here is M306. Really unique packaging. Here's the next product. Here's the packaging for the product. And then the product, I think it's an eyebrow pencil, comes separate, so you have to put them together. But that must mean it's refillable, is my guess. The pencil itself looks nice and cool, which is perfect for my brow color. Oh, just kidding. There is one in there already, so this is a refill. So there's one in there and there is a backup for the refill. Oh, nice. And so I'm guessing this other side here has a spoolie. And it does, so yes, this is an eyebrow product. I believe the shade is MF05. And wow, we have even more here to open up. Let's open this one first. This has a plastic protective cover. Wow, I love this shade. Whatever this shade is, it's like a teal, but there's uh, something else happening in here. So depending on, I think it's the coating on here, coating, that depending on the angle, you get a little bit more blue or a little bit more green. Lovely. <gasps> wow, that's beautiful to look at. Now there's a little bit of pink in there, definitely some goldy tones. Yeah, this is some of the prettiest makeup. The shade here is O2, I think. Next we have this. This is quite uh, heavy, this one. Let's see, let's remove this plastic. Oh wow, <laughs> I almost dropped it. Gorgeous. Yeah, this is such an elegant shade, this deep teal color. You can see they paid attention to detail here, even the opening. It reminds me of a little clutch. Oh, wow. Okay, this is gonna be really tricky to use because I, for makeup collectors, this might be something you wanna pick up just because I've never seen anything like this before in terms of the presentation in the packaging and what they do to emboss or whatever they're doing to get that design on the actual product. And I do love these tones because I feel like they had skin tones with some warmth in mind as they created these because those would be the shades that I would pick for highlighter, powder, blush, and I'm assuming that's a bronzer. Okay, there's some words I can read on the back here. This is the Flowery Makeup Relief Palette. And there were shades 01, 02, 03, and 04. This is the next product. Now 
of the protective plastic. Let's see what this one is. You have a similar design for the opening here. You have to twist this one off. It's like the top of a jar. Okay, I've never seen a powder puff in this shade before. This is structured like a cushion product. Oh, this is a translucent powder, I'm guessing. I really like a mesh on top of a loose powder though because it does help control the amount that's dispersed at a time. And then finally we have this product. Oh wow. I think I say, oh wow, on everything here. It is really impressive opening these products up because like I said, I've never seen anything like this type of makeup before. So this one is the only one that has silver on it. The other ones have a like a rose gold with that beautiful teal shade. So this has that same teal shade. It's matte though, but it's a silver packaging on the top. Here's what the side looks like. Wow. Okay, I think this is an eyeshadow palette. And the only reason I say that is because of the blue and the gold. Otherwise, I might think this was just a cheek palette or maybe it's a face palette. Okay, this must be a face palette. So I'm guessing the four smaller sections are eye shades and the two shades on the sides, these larger ones, are blush and that the white is a highlighter. I think that's it. Yeah, that blue is really stunning. The Instagram pictures I've seen, I think had a teal shade in there. So I don't think I've ever seen this before. And I'm so excited about that blue, especially with those warmer tones. That's going to look really, really beautiful. So I can't wait to play with all of these. So thank you so much to Floresis for sending everything over. I'm gonna have a hard time getting into these products just because everything's so stunning looking, but of course we'll try them on. Really excited about that eye. I think we're gonna do something really beautiful with it. So I'm hoping the performance on these is just as beautiful as the appearance. As always, let me know what you are interested in. I will try to get to those items first, but that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.